I want to show you this cute little pruning set that I have. So first off is the gloves that I'm wearing. Um, I really like them because I have a rose bush and these little rubber bits keep me from getting stabbed by my rose bush. Um, they're nice and breathable on top. They have a cute little bumblebee on them. And I also like that they fit snug around my wrist because I think that helps so that way not so much dirt gets in. And it does come with a second pair, so that's great if I have a helper or even just if this pair is too dirty and I want a second pair, I can keep them in different places, one in the garage, one in the house, whatever. Um, and then it comes with three sets of pruners. So they all match, they look really cute. Um, but beside that, they are super durable, super sharp. They all have a safety on them. So you just pull back the safety and they're open. So these ones I use on my rose bush. My rose bush is not looking great these days. Um, there are a couple of spots where um, I need to cut it back to allow for the rest of it to maybe heal a little bit. And then they come with these two smaller ones right here. So I like to use this for the finer stuff on my rose bush. Um, it's just a little bit easier to maneuver, I think, when you're looking at smaller stuff. And then there's also this set of smaller ones. So this right here is my herb garden. So I have um, some basil, some green onions, some mint, and I like to use these because they're a little bit finer to go in and snip a couple of my herbs so I can take inside. So I'll just go through and this is my basil right here. So I'll go through and super easy to just snip a couple pieces of my basil. So I'm gonna take this in for later. And then um, I have a little pepper growing. Let's see, I also want a little bit of mint, so I'll go through and snip a little bit of my mint. So I used to come through and just kind of rip them off, but um, these, I, I basically just started ripping my plant. So um, some good little pruners are great for making sure that you don't do that. Um, always try to clean your pruners because that's going to ensure that they last longer. Um, again, I like that they all match because that kind of helps me to find them a little bit easier, distinguish that they're set. They're all super durable. Um, I've dropped them a couple of times. Obviously, they've been outside in the garden and they're holding up great. So I really like these and if you're a wannabe gardener like me, then I highly recommend that you pick up this little set right here. Here is my rose bush. It has definitely seen better days. So I'm putting on my gloves right now and I'm going to get out my bigger clippers and remove this branch. As you see, it's been pretty chewed up. There's some good parts to it, but um, I just kind of want to get rid of that piece and there it goes. Um, there's another piece here that literally goes from green to brown and I want to get rid of all of that dead stuff and give it the opportunity to um, get healthier and grow a little bit more. So uh, kind of same with this part right here. So I'm just removing the bulk of these kind of pointless pieces and give the green part a little bit more of a chance to flourish. I'm going to get these smaller ones and get rid of some of these other yucky little uh, looking pieces. And I'm gonna use the pointy ones too, um, more or less just to kind of show you how they work also, but they are really good for getting into a little bit of tighter places and being a little bit more precise. So these are all of the different shears and I love 